so we've had a look ahead and we've covered what I'm going to do in the next couple of weeks and now is the opportune time to also look back so today's going to be a quick look back in terms of where I used to be as a runner and where I am now and for me to consolidate in terms of the progress I've made helps me to kind of ground myself and motivate myself in terms of where I was and where I am and hopefully provide some inspiration and motivation to other runners especially those just starting out Yeah, so those of you that uh, haven't watched from the very beginning and maybe don't know my backstory so I started running kind of probably 10 years ago now and I made all the same mistakes a lot of runners make and I was running inconsistently once or twice a week maybe I go into a park run every weekend as one of my only runs of the week and I was trying to set a PB every time and obviously that's just hard work and not particularly enjoyable but my only running was max effort and then obviously I got demotivated and uh, disenchanted when I stalled and my running failed to progress and again it's a lot of things a lot of runners make I've covered this in I'll tag in the description a couple of my hints and tip videos in terms of common running mistakes and um, how to run quickly etc a lot of my tip videos are aimed at newer runners but yeah, in terms of this year, again, I've made progress in my running. I've made progress since I kind of returned to running in 2021 properly. So, so yeah, in them, in them early years, you have doubts. I made a lot of mistakes. I wasn't quite sure what I was doing. I wasn't doing all the right things in terms of running consistently. I did the same type of short, fast runs. I didn't vary my running. And pretty quickly, a long time ago, I stalled. I hit 25 minutes for the 5k I didn't really run much further than that ever and that was it that was my what I perceived to be my ceiling couldn't get below 25 minutes for the 5k for a long time for years and years I think I did a 10k once in uh, 20 I think I did in 2013 2014 something like that and uh, that felt like it was a marathon I'd never run that distance before untrained I think I finished that in like one hour, one minute, 61 minutes. Basically, stop start, had to walk numerous times, and then I thought running wasn't for me, it was just too hard to do. I wasn't blessed with the ability to run well. I flitted in and out of running. I did another 10k in 2016, I think it was, with my brother. Um, and that's what kind of brought this about. This weekend, I'll be doing another 10k with my brother seven years later but on that day seven years ago i again i trained kind of a little bit a little bit for that 10k but not properly i had knee issues in the build-up again because i wasn't quite sure what i was doing i was doing it all wrong and i'm gonna finish that one in i think 51 minutes back in 2016 um, and again i remember on that day vividly on the train home i officially unofficially retired from running thinking it wasn't for me again knee issues and constant setbacks in my head led me to believe that I'll leave running behind it wasn't for me and again I suppose that, that feeds into today again there are probably things that a lot of runners face you doubt yourself you don't run consistently enough you don't run quite enough as in terms of me wanting to meet your ambitions and goals and that's probably even true for me today um, but like I said if I look back at since I've returned to running, if you said to me I'm running now, back then, what I'd be, what I'd be able to do now, I wouldn't have believed you. And that was because, again, I put barriers up to myself. I wasn't running and training enough. I wasn't enjoying it enough. Again, I was running out and max effort pretty much all the time. And that soon demotivates you and uh, encourages you not to continue. Or well, it did, did, did for me anyway. So, I wanted to do today look back that's where i started off untrained i was running 30 30 odd minute 5ks 
I couldn't complete a 10k without stopping and then after a couple of years of poor effort I got down to 25k for 5k years ago and an hour for the 10k and that was hard efforts and max efforts and led to injuries etc So now if we fast forward to 2021 when I returned after a bit of a sabbatical from running like I said in 2016 to 2020, 2021 I didn't really do much running at all I left it alone, thought it wasn't for me and then I kind of returned in earnest in uh, 2021 ready for my metric marathon I did a little bit of running in 2020 for Covid and I thought I'll give it one more, one more go So yeah, I returned in 2021 in uh, preparation for my metric marathon which was the first event I'd done over 10k and again the aim was just to run it at an enjoyable-ish pace complete it without stopping and uh, obviously it'll be the first time I've gone longer than 10k so I wanted to see if that was more my scene than the shorter faster stuff which was proven to be difficult and hard work and not enjoyable and yeah back in 2021 I've looked back over my Strava my fastest 5k was 23 minutes my fastest 10k was 50 minutes and my fastest half marathon was uh, during the metric was 1 hour 54 and that's where I was at so even those uh, massively improved on where I was uh, 4 or 5 years earlier and again I was just on the back of a bit more consistency a bit more regular running and also enjoying my running which led me to obviously run more and that naturally brings benefits and improvements and if we now jump to last year so 2022 I made some quite big improvements again this was on the back of marathon training so again I was running far more consistently even more than previously I was running longer I was running with more structure and again I was still enjoying my training because it wasn't all quick it was plenty of easy running longer slow runs a couple of speed bursts and stuff so and again the stats show that by doing that you get natural improvements whether you're trying to or not so again that year I was pretty much predominantly trying to just run a marathon for the first time without stopping again having never run anything other than the metric before in terms of anything over 10k and again look at the stats my 5k dropped down to 20 minutes 12 seconds I, was, I almost got sub 20 which is a three minute almost a three minute improvement my 5k Drop from 50 down to 43 on the back of Project 10K, which I did towards the end of the year. And my half marathon went from 154 down to 1 hour 40 uh, when I did the 100 minute run for my first 100 subs subscribers towards the end of last year. When again, I just give it a bit of a max effort for 100 minutes and see how far I could get. And I managed to just get in there, sneak in the half marathon. But again, they're fairly big jumps within one calendar year so three minutes off my 5k seven minutes off my 10k and 14 minutes off my half and I brought completed my first marathon that year as well in 348 but yeah they were big jumps so if we jump forward to this year now 2023 again I was training predominantly for half marathons this year but again I still wanted to see progress and I set myself a few goals in terms of improving holistically across the, dis the distances again so look at the stats for this year obviously there's a bit of time to go and I'm going to try and do some more work um, towards the end of this year now maybe on some time trials after a period of, uh, of downtime and deloading now but yeah my uh, 5k let's get out of this bridge yeah I managed to get below sub 20 in the end so my 5k went from 2012 and it's gone down to 1935 and again I think there's a bit more in me especially this year my 10k has dropped from 43 to 42 and a half, 43 26 currently, but I've got a time trial coming up soon. And I think I'm more around the 41 minute mark for definite. And my half marathon has gone down from 1 hour 40 to down to 1 hour 35 or 34, roughly around that figure for my two half marathons this year. So, yeah, further progress again. And again, if you look back to the when I retired from running in 2016, if you'd said to me then I was running these type of times, I wouldn't have even believed it because 
it's a big jump from 25 minutes down to 19 it's a big jump from a one hour 10k when i really struggled down to like say 41 42 minute 10k where i think i'm at now and then half marathons again it was unheard of until a couple of years ago when i ran my first one in uh, 2021 and now i'm running down nearer to the one hour 30 mark compared to the kind of nearer to two hour mark And again, just to balance that out, it's not all about times and PBs. That's just stats that you can relate to and refer to that, that they don't lie. My times are quicker, I am running quickly, or quicker than I was. Um, but what have I learned? I learned in those early days, I was getting things wrong. I was approaching my running uh, incorrectly. I was trying to get PBs all the time. I wasn't particularly enjoying it, again, which kind of drove, drove me to give it up because it's not enjoyable no one's going to stick to anything so the key lessons i've learned uh, i suppose that one anything is possible again i had long aspiring dreams actually you no know, years ago i never even dreamed of getting below 20 minutes and again that's not the end of the road for me uh, i've got big ambitions to go sub 19 sub 18 for the five and sub 40 definitely for the 10 and again sub 90 minutes for the half i'm going to revisit that marathon and again long term Try and get below three hours for the marathon but again i've i've come to realize now that it's not a it's not a sprint but it's more a mar of a marathon if you want to make improvements you have to put the work in you have to run consistently all these benefits have built up on now what two two plus years of running and again so i'll continue to get the benefits and the improvements by building on the current state of where i am right now um, and the other tips I've learned is just yeah, you've got to be consistent inconsistency is the detriment to your running if I take time off I won't come back and expect to be in the same position so be consistent is the main one don't matter if you're on once, twice, three times a week you've just got to do it on a regular basis and the natural fitness will come you don't have to be workouts, you don't have to be fast you just have to go out and get some, like, get some mileage in your legs and the natural adaptations will occur over time secondly is enjoy it you've got to enjoy it otherwise it just will you will just sack it off i wasn't enjoying my running in previous years and that's why i dropped in and out over the span of about six seven years i picked it up dropped it came back for a little bit left it again whereas now again that's why i've taken this kind of downtime now i could kick on and continue to push myself and try and improve my times more and more but I know myself, I need to have this downtime now, this deload, time to re reset, ground myself and enjoy my running again. So today's just me running down the canal. Time is irrelevant. Uh, so yeah, you got to enjoy it. That will help you to stick with it. And by sticking with it, you'll remain consistent. And that's the last one, is do stick with it. My, not a regret as such, but if I hadn't dropped in and out, how much further along would I have been right now? Like I say, it's all a building blocks and building process. So the longer you run, the better you are gradually. That's why you see these runners who, maybe older runners who can run, still run ridiculous paces. It's because they've been running for decades or longer that um, anyone just starting out can't really compete with, no matter how naturally fit you are. Um, but yes, that's not a regret, but if I'd, uh, stuck with it and not sacked it off and maybe approached it differently i think i obviously have been in a position a different position right now but yeah so wrap it up there that was just a quick look back in terms of me and my journey hopefully it might resonate with a few runners those that maybe just starting out maybe you've got doubts and again don't compare yourself to anybody else i used to do that as well i was guilty of that now it's just me versus me i compare myself to myself uh, I've still got long, big ambitions, it's all about balance again I want to get quicker and faster and that's where the hard training and the hard work comes in but I also want to enjoy it so you've got to balance it out but yeah, stick with it if you're starting out everything seems hard at the beginning things do get easier as you go along 
suddenly you'll be running a similar run at a similar pace and suddenly it'll feel a bit easier or you'll feel like you're working and you look down and you're running a little bit quicker than you used to be able to do so it's all baby steps like I said just continue to run be consistent and I genuinely believe anything is possible like I said me back in 2013 2016 running 25k 25 minute 5k's I thought it was my ceiling there was no possible way of me getting below that and then when I run the 10k that was about an hour that seemed about right um, so now if you say if you told me then I've been running five minutes quicker in the 5k uh, 20 minutes quicker in the 10k and I'd be able to cover a marathon and a half marathon in a reasonable time without stopping I would have laughed but it's all taking time so I'll wrap it up there like I said hopefully this will provide a bit of inspiration a bit of insight a lot of runners have probably gone through the same doubts and processes so stick with it enjoy your running be consistent and everything else will fall into place I'll uh, finish this run in the drizzle now the summer which never actually happened has finished in the UK I'll uh, look out for the uh, Warrington Running Festival that'll be the next vlog I drop that's at this weekend on Sunday so I'll drop that probably on Tuesday just a nice easy enjoyable event I'm going to run with my brother seven years later running a 10k so it's a nice kind of uh, cyclical process so I thought I'd do this vlog this vlog but yeah enjoy your running I'll see everyone on the next one